Okay, so what we're asked to do is determine whether the graph has a re absolute maximum, minimum, relative maximum or minimum, or neither. Starting with point A, we can tell that it's a minimum by looking at it. And since it's the lowest value on the graph, we can go ahead and call it an absolute minimum. For point B, we cannot look at this open circle since it's not continuous, but when we if we look above at this closed circle right here, we can tell it's a minimum or a maximum. And since it's not the highest value on the graph, it's going to be a relative maximum. For point C, by looking at it, we can tell it's a maximum, but since it's not the highest value on the graph, it's going to be a relative maximum. For point D, by looking at it, we can tell it's a minimum, since it's not the lowest point or the lowest value on the graph, we're going to call it a relative minimum. For point R, by looking at it, we can tell it's a maximum. Since it's the highest value on the graph, we can call it an absolute maximum. For point S, by looking at it, we can tell it's a minimum. And since it's not the lowest point on the graph, it's a relative minimum. And that completes the problem.